हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेसन इंट्रोडक्शन टू केमिस्ट्री बट बिफोर एंटरिंग टू केमिस्ट्री लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड और नो वॉट इज साइंस साइंस इज द नॉलेज गेंड from using observations and experiments to describe and explain the world around us it means science is the knowledge about the natural world that is based on facts which is learned through the experiments and observations and it is important as it helps to satisfy human needs and improve living standard science is not biased it is a subject to revise correction and rejection with new evidences scientific method it is a way to solve a problem first we make an observation after observing it we develop an idea about why it happens and then we think of some experiments to test the ideas while doing that we predict what will happen in the experiment and we continue observing it what actually happens and at last if our predictions become wrong we modify the ideas and again test again do the experiments predict observe now the branches of science are chemistry physics biology earth sciences and space sciences introduction chemistry is a big part of our everyday life we find chemistry in daily life in the foods that we eat the air that we breathe cleaning the chemicals our emotions and literally every object we can see or touch some common chemistry may be obvious but still there are some other chemistry or things which might surprise us chemistry happens in the world around us not just in a lab chemistry is happening everywhere next what is chemistry then chemistry is the science in which substances are examined to find out what they are made of means what is the composition of it how they act under different conditions if the conditions are changed what reactions they do and how they are combined or separated to form other new substances what is the reaction what is the process in which some substances are separated or combined and new substances are formed suppose for example we are taking table salt it is made up of elements sodium and chlorine 
here is another example of water which is made up of hydrogen and oxygen and when we heat water it begins to boil salt and water are made up of combined substances now what are the branches of chemistry organic chemistry inorganic chemistry physical chemistry biochemistry and analytical chemistry now what is the or how is the origin of chemistry took place it comes from the word alchemy alchemists originated in china and india and were searching for ways to make other metals into gold their main aim was to change other metals into gold by their own magical method they also created equipment such as beakers flasks tongs they developed the process how to separate mixtures and how to purify the chemicals now what is the meaning of alchemy it is a science that is used in the middle ages with the goal or intention of changing ordinary metals into gold this word came from the arabic or greek word alchemia which means the art of transmuting now what is the definition of alchemy in actuality it is referred to as a form of science with a magical goal it means they did their method in magical way the study of nature with ambitions to conceive the philosopher's stone and to bring forth the elixir of life and transmutation of base metals to gold it means they studied about the nature with one ambition in their mind to take the philosopher's stone and to fulfill their wish magically of transformation creation or combination of these metals to gold alchemists were almost like magicians these are some images of alchemists who are performing their experiments so children i hope up to this you understood well and the next part of the chapter will be continued in the next video stay safe stay home thank you